Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Miss Brienne, and welcome back to Preschool Story Hour. And this is the preschool story time session where all my preschool friends meet up in the afternoon in order to listen to some great stories, recite some rhymes, sing some songs, and even do a cool little simple activity. Now, as I've always mentioned, each of our stories are based on a particular theme for the month. So the theme changes every month and so do the stories. And for the month of July, our theme is summer. So I got some cool summer books for you boys and girls to enjoy. All right. But before we get into that, we are going to start with our welcome song, which is the more we get together. And you know the drill, I sing along first, and then all my friends join me the second time around. Now before I begin, I just want to let you know that our welcome song is from the pamphlet style book, The Very Ready Reading Program, which is published by Upstart. So whenever you're ready, follow along on your song sheets. Are we ready? All right, here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, everybody. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, good job boys and girls. Now, as you all know, we have our books for the month of July. We have Summer is Summer, Pie is for Sharing, Duck Dunks, and Miranda's Beach Day. Now, the book that we read for all three sessions for the month of July is Pie is for Sharing. And then we always switch around for the second book for each week. But before I read Pie is for Sharing, we are going to sing one of the two songs that we sing for the whole month of July. And they're sharing songs and friendship songs. Now, before I begin, I just want to let you know that these two friendship and sharing songs are from the website Preschool Express. So if you're interested in these songs as well as other similar songs, please click on the web link in the video description. But let's sing our first song which is called My Friends and I Like to Share. Are we ready? All right, here we go. My friends and I like to share. It's what we all like to do. My friends and I like to share. We hope that you do too. All right, everybody, my friends and I like to share. It's what we all like to do. My friends and I like to share. We hope that you do too. All right, good job, boys and girls. So before I introduce our first book for the day, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, so just bear with me. All right, give me one minute. Let's see how that works. All right, so I'm going to introduce our first story for today. And that story is... Pie is for sharing. So, pie is for sharing. The author is Stephanie Parsley Ledyard. 
Now the author is the person who writes the words to the story. The illustrator is Jason Chin. And the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in the story. And then we have the publisher, which is that company that puts the book all together and sends it to the bookstores to sell. And the publisher, he, well, it's a Neil Porter book, which is published by the Roaring Brook Press, a division of Holtzbring Publishing Holdings Limited Partnership. All right, with that being said, are we ready to begin? All right, here we go. All right, pi is for sharing. And isn't it nice to have a yummy piece of pie in the summer? It starts out whole and round. Remember, boys and girls, isn't it? Have you ever had a fresh baked, seen a fresh baked pie out of the oven? It's nice and it's like a big circle. It looks like you can eat. It's so yummy you can eat the whole thing. I, I love eating pie. What about you boys and girls? But in any event, it starts out nice and whole. Then... You can slice it into as many pieces as you wish. You, that's the good thing about pie and being in a circle. You can cut it into many different pieces. You can have two pieces, four pieces, eight pieces. It all depends on how many people want a piece of pie. But you can slice it into as many pieces as you wish. Almost. Sometimes it's not enough for everybody. A book is for sharing. A ball is nice for sharing too. And a tree. Isn't it fun to climb trees and then rest in them, boys and girls? And sometimes trees are big enough where many people can climb them and then rest the on them and read books. Isn't, doesn't that sound like a lot of fun? A tree is always shared. Even when you think it is yours alone. So boys and girls, even if you're the only person in that tree, you're not going to have that tree all to yourself because there are animals like birds and squirrels that live in the tree. So even if you think you're the only one in the tree, you're not, there may be animals living in the tree as well and share, you're sharing the tree with them. Cool, huh? Other things for sharing, a jump rope, your place in the middle, a rhyme, time. Isn't it great to spend a day with all your family and friends and the people you care about, especially in the summer? Sounds like a good time to me. A boat, a stream, your towel warmed. 
by the sun. Easy to share. Cousins. Sticks. Stones from your pocket. Hard to share. Your best friend. If you are hurt, it helps to share a hug and some bandages and a story about what happened. Hideouts and treasures, these are good to share. And who's found some great treasures in the ocean? There's a lot of good things you can find on the beach. Can you name a few boys and girls? Well, you can find a lot of seashells. You can find some nice rocks and stones. And maybe even some beach glass. Isn't that cool? You can probably find some other cool treasures as well. Words and music are good, are made for sharing. So are berries. And that last piece of homemade bread. even the crumbs. Many can share one light. And a blanket. A breeze. The sky. These are for sharing. Just like pie. All right, and that is the end of the story. But what do you think, boys and girls? Wasn't that a nice book about sharing and spending time with your family and friends? I got a question for you, boys and girls. Does it feel good when people share their things with you? And does it make you feel good when you share your things with people you care about and to see them happy? Doesn't that make you feel good too? Well, it's always, it's always nice to share, boys and girls. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed the story. I certainly enjoyed reading it to you. And we're going to go on to our next book in a second. But before we do that, we're going to sing our other friendship song, and this is called, I Will Be Kind. Well, it's, it's actually not a song, but it's a poem rhyme. And it goes a little something like this. I will be kind to my friends every day. I will be kind in my own special way. I will take turns and share my thanks too. I will be kind because that's what friends do. 
All right. Everybody ready? Here we go. I will be kind to my friends every day. I will be kind in my own special way. I will take turns and share my things too. I will be kind because that's what friends do. All right, good job, boys and girls. So in a minute, I'm going to introduce our second story. But first, I am going to introduce one of the two new summer songs on your song sheet. And before we do that, I just want to let you know that both of these summer songs that you're going to learn are from the website Pre-K Fun. So if you're interested in this song as well as other similar songs, please click on the web link in the video description. But are we ready? Here we go. The first song is Swimming. And it goes a little something like this. Well, actually, it's not a song. It's a rhyme. It's a chant. It goes a little something like this. I can dive. I can swim. I can float. I can fetch. But dog paddle is the stroke that I do best. All right, are we ready? Here we go. I can dive. I can swim. I can float. I can fetch. But dog paddle is the stroke that I do best. All right, good job, boys and girls. So I'm just going to zoom out the camera just a little bit. Oops, that's zooming in. So we can, I can introduce the next book to you. All right, and that book is called Duck Dunks. Let me zoom that in just a little bit so you can actually see the book. Here we go. So the author of Duck Dunks is Lynn Barry. The illustrator is Hiro Nakata. And the publisher is Henry Holt which is a trademark of Henry Holt and Company, LLC. All right, are we ready to begin? Okay, here we go. All right. Ducks in swimsuits, one with a float, one with a kite and cakes in a tote. Five with towels, one towel each. Five little ducks on their way to the beach. Look at that. Now, do ducks really wear swimsuits? Or do they really need cakes and towels? No, most ducks just jump in the water and swim. Five little ducklings, hand in hand, skip from the boardwalk into the sand. Into the sand and into the sun, five little ducks sea surf and run.
ducks hit the shoreline, ducks dive in, five little ducklings bob and spin. Bobbing, splashing, ducks swim out, waves come crashing, five ducks shout. One duck gurgles, two ducks whirl, Three ducks burble, four ducks swirl, five little ducks dunk under sea, ducks paddle up now, look at me! Soon ducks shiver, time for sun. Ducks reach dry land one by one. Ducks on towels unpack lunch. Clam cakes, jam cakes, five ducks munch. Lunch time. One last nibble, one last bite. One little duck cries, grab that kite! Three hold the kite and two hold the string. Run, run, run ducks! All five sing. Three ducks point, four look up high. Five little ducks cheer, fly, kite, fly! Can ducks really fly a kite? Do they really eat cake for lunch? I don't think so. Ducks play leapfrog, ducks play tag. Can they really do that? No. Not it, not it! Four ducks brag. Four ducks spy one bright red crab. Three ducks shout. Two ducks grab. Snippity snap, quick claws pinch. Two ducks yelp. Three Ducks flinch. Five ducks watch as the sun sinks low. Time for a last dunk, dunk, let's go! Ducks towel dry and brush off sand. Ducks waddle home now, hand in hand. So it's getting dark out. It's time to go home. Swimsuits dripping next to a float, kite on a line, and crumbs in a tote. Five damp towels, one towel heap. Five little ducks drift off to sleep. And that is the end of the story. I certainly hope you enjoyed reading that. I certainly enjoyed reading it. But now what we're going to do, boys and girls, is we're going to spend some time relaxing and playing with some Play-Doh. So get your Play-Doh out, boys and girls. And we're going to get, I'm going to give you a few minutes to play with it. And you can do whatever you want. You can build you can build objects with it, or you can just squish it around in your hands like I'm doing. And doesn't it feel relaxing, boys and girls? 
So like I said, I'm going to give you a few minutes to play with this, but if you need more time, you can always pause this video and take as much time as you want playing with the Play-Doh. But here's my Play-Doh right here. What color is yours? So I hope you're having a good day so far. I hope you're having fun. You're doing lots of cool stuff. And you're enjoying this nice weather. So just keep playing, boys and girls. Give it another minute or two. And just keep going. All right, so we're going to stop, but like I said, if you need more time, please feel free to pause this video and take as much time as you need. But for everybody else who's ready, we're going to sing our next summer song, and it is called Splash and Kick, and it goes a little something like this. When the sun is shining I like to go swimming, swimming in my backyard, swimming in my pool, splashing and kicking, water all around me, splash, splash, kick, kick, keeping cool. All right, everybody, when the sun is shining, I like to go swimming, swimming in my backyard, swimming in my pool, splashing and kicking, water all around me. Splash, splash, kick, kick, keeping cool. All right, good job, boys and girls. I certainly hope you had fun today. I certainly had fun, but sadly, it is time to say goodbye. And we're probably going to keep the same theme next month. But we're going to have different stories to read. Doesn't that sound like fun? And I'm looking forward to seeing you in August. But until then, we're going to end for the day with our goodbye song. And before I do that, I'm just going to let you know this goodbye song is from the website Literary Hoots. So if you're interested in this song, as well as other similar songs, please click on the web link in the video description. But are we ready? Okay, here we go. Hands go up, hands go down, I can turn round and round. I can jump up on two shoes, I can clap and so can you. 
I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. All right, everybody, hands go up, hands go down. I can turn round and round. I can jump up onto shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. Thank you so much for joining me today, boys and girls. You have a great day and I will see you in August.